Aloha, shalom, shalom ha. So I'm here going live for the full moon activation eclipse reading. And I'm in the car because it's pretty windy on the island right now. So this is what we're working with, y'all. It's pretty comfortable in here. So I'm feeling prepared and I'm feeling ready. I figured it's about time because although it's still kind of early here, it's getting late everywhere else where y'all are tuning in from. Um, if you feel called, go ahead and drop a comment um, from where you're tuning in from. So if you're in Sedona, leave a comment to say Sedona AZ. Wherever you are, city and state, go ahead and drop a line. <clears throat> so we've been in this eclipse sandwich. We had a new moon eclipse, solar eclipse, and now we have a full moon, partial lunar eclipse. And so this week has been super powerful, super potent. Everybody is feeling it. Everybody's feeling it in one way or another. Some people just understand it better. Some people have no idea what the heck is going on. They just feel it. Um, but we're all in it. We are all a part of it. So today is a powerful day because it's going to be the portal that seals the deal. It's going to seal this eclipse sandwich. It's going to finish it up. And then from now until next week, what we'll have is an integration period. So what comes up in this reading will be a map to help us activate the integration period. What this reading is going to provide is the full picture of everything that we've experienced this cycle, a complete picture of all that we've gone through, really wrapping things up. And then from here, when we have the whole picture, we'll be able to begin integrating. And next week, I will be doing the integration activation, the uh, final quarter moon from Kauai. So right now we're in Maui. One week from today, we'll be doing it in Kauai. So thank you, thank you for tuning in, for showing up, for doing the work with me. We're going to go ahead and just start connecting with the deck. The first thing you want to do is clear any thoughts that you're carrying today in this moment here now. Whatever repetitive thoughts you have going on, just acknowledge it and ask it to please take a seat now. Thank you. We're just creating the space for the wisdom to enter. And the place that we're going to meet is that space inside of your heart that is outside of time, that infinite space inside of yourself where we all meet, where we are all one. We're all, all parts of us are really together. All parts of us are unified. But in that space, it's undeniable. Our unity is undeniable. So meet me there. And then when you're in that infinite space outside of time, Go ahead, take a deep breath, let it out, and connect to the deck however you desire, whether that's seeing a golden thread going from your third eye to the deck, or you you know, you know hold out your hands and shoot a beam from your finger to the deck. Whatever you want to do, uh, it's all up to your imagination because that is where the magic begins. That's where the magic is conceived so that it can be received in physical reality. So it's up to you. Be creative and connect to the deck how you desire. Thank you, Archetypes of the One, Faces of the One, for showing us the wisdom that we need to receive here and now together as we open up a channel for the wisdom to come through. As each one of us connects, that channel opens up wider for more wisdom, for more light to enter. Thank you. Thank you, Maui, for your magic and for your fire. Thank you for all of the fires of purification that are being ignited within and all around this past week. Whew. Thank you for the sealing of this cycle so that we may receive the truth in its fullness under the light of this full moon, partial uh, lunar eclipse, so that we can take the time for the next week to integrate it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and begin. I'm doing this on my lap, you guys. <laughs> Okay. okay, we're going to begin with the very first card I pulled. I pulled four cards, okay. The first card I pulled is going to represent, it's the card and the face to represent this whole past cycle. What has it all been about? Woo! The lovers. Right away we have a major arcana card. For those of you who have been following the readings, it's like, this happens every time, right? So powerful because it's us doing this magic, making this magic happen. So the lovers, okay, the lovers is a major arcana card. It's the number six of the entire deck. It's the first number six of the deck. 
And the lovers is not always about actual lovers. It can be. But the deeper uh, archetypal wisdom of this card is knowing how to choose between two paths. Knowing how to tune into your heart to choose which path is really right. That's what this cycle has been about. So because we're coming to a close now, we should really be able to pinpoint exactly what this is. There is no question. You know what it is. You know what this month has been about. You know what the choice has been. You've been focused on it. In fact, right away I'm seeing something that is telling me that we've all been going through this uncertainty that's like, oh man, like I really want to commit to this thing or I really want to choose this thing, but there's also this thing in the background. Like there's also this thing, like there's also this path that I can go. And this month has really been about making sure that we're moving in the direction that we are meant to move in, making sure that the direction we choose is going to be the one that we're ready to commit to in a, a way that is whole, finally ready to sink into that path. And it's all been about following our heart and making sure that our heart makes that decision, that our heart chooses which direction is for our highest good. And if you, for this moment, think about that decision that you've had to make, and you just ask yourself one question, is this path the one that is for the highest good of the one, not just me, but the one and all? If it's not, you gotta reconsider, ma'am. You gotta reconsider because this card is just to remind us that whatever decision making, really powerful decision making we've had to go through this cycle, this month, we better make sure that we chose the path that is the heart's choice, that is for the highest good of the one. Okay, that's just the first card, the lovers. It's also about attraction. What have we been attracted to? Making sure that what we are choosing is the thing that our heart is really uh, being magnified, uh, being attracted to. Okay. Being magnetized to. <clears throat> now, the next card is going to be <clears throat> the opportunities that have surrounded us. So we'll be able to see uh, if we've made the most of the, those opportunities. See if we've been tuned in this whole time. Another major arcana card. Judgment. <laughs> so our decisions uh, that we've been going through, this powerful decision-making process that we've been going through this cycle... We've had opportunities along the way to really judge ourselves from a perspective that is righteous, from a perspective that we're, that is necessary. We must observe self. We must self-reflect. We must judge ourselves in a way that is actually healthy. We're judging beings. That's what we do. We can't help it. So we may as well use that in the highest way, in service of the one of which you and I are a part. So how do we judge ourselves in a way that is healthy? We judge ourselves in a way that is reflective, but also kind, forgiving, compassionate. Okay, so we've had a lot of opportunities to do this, this cycle, as we've gone through this process of really making sure we're making the right decision. We've had to really look at ourselves. We've had to really judge our priorities. What have our priorities been? Why have I been attracted to this opportunity and that opportunity? What is behind my attraction for both of these paths or all of the things that I've been attracted to? All of the paths. What's behind it? What are my values? We've had to really go through that and look at ourselves and ask ourselves if the way we've been living is the way that we want to continue living. So if you've been considering that, if you've been reflecting on that, then you've been receiving those opportunities with grace. Then you've been really staying awake and alert and making the most of the energies upon us. So this opportunity is still present. Today is a very powerful day to make sure if you haven't accessed these opportunities yet that you do now. I like to think that judgment, this archetypal energy, is present always. It's always present, like all of the archetypes. They're all within us, able to be used as allies in any moment. And judgment day is in each moment because there is really no time. Time is made up. And so in that space of timelessness, we can see that judgment is an archetypal energy that we can always use. Only God can judge. We are a part of that. We are a part of that. So in each moment, we have the opportunity to judge self and not in a negative way. You can see it like your parents, okay? But the parents that live inside of you the mother and father inside of you. How would they judge you in a way that is supportive and loving, helpful, compassionate? So you gotta be your own father and say, yo, you gotta cut that shit out, man. 
you got to stop doing this. You got to stop doing that. It's not okay. It's not healthy for you. Okay. You need to protect this part of yourself or that part of yourself, or you need to protect the people that you love, etc., etc. And the mother would say, and it's okay that you haven't done that. You haven't done your best, but I believe in you and I know that you can do better. Okay, these are all things that we can tell ourselves as we go through this more righteous process of self-judgment. A judgment that is very necessary along the path, which is why it's a major arcana card. It's a major secret revealed. It's a major lesson. Okay, and the challenge and gift that we are experiencing right now. So as we experience this challenge, Okay, cool. We're back. So I'm losing some service. Hopefully we can still continue. Let me know if uh, if you're still watching, if you're still tuned in. Make sure everybody's still with us here. Um, I didn't want to end the video and start a new one even though I lost you for a moment because I really want to continue the flow of energy here. So let's pick up where we left off and hope that it just, it just works out, right? It always does. So the challenge, which becomes the gift and the bridge to the future, we have a king, the king of swords. And this card was coming up in the cycle um, that, that we previously did for this moon cycle. Uh, just go to youtube.com slash Rebecca Magic. You'll see that this guy was in there, the King of Swords. So far we have two major arcana cards and a king. Okay, So the King of Swords is the challenge and the gift. Kings are the mature aspect of the suit. And this suit is that of swords, air, truth, or truth. And the mind. Okay, so goodness. Okay, we're back. I'm trying to finish this up here, you guys, because we're having a funny connection, which is so perfect, so perfect for this potent time and what it is. So, getting back to it, the challenge and the gift is the King of Swords, finding our truth and speaking it, rolling with our truth. By now, at the time of the full moon, we should have already found that truth. We know what it is we're working with. So, it's time to just stand firm in that and make all of our decisions based on this truth. Act on this truth. Act maturely. Act maturely. Our truth. And we're back. <laughs> Thank you guys for staying tuned in, your troopers, okay? So acting on our truth is the challenge right now. Staying true to that. Staying on the course. Staying to the course and carrying out the plan of action that is based in our truth, our authenticity, okay? The final card is another major arcana card. So we have three major arcana cards for this full moon eclipse and a king. The final card is the ally card. So the, so the star is going to be our ally, you guys, okay? So remembering that you are the center of your world. Even though we're all connected, you have to move from the inside out. You are the star of your show. And the ally card being the star means that right now it would be in our best interest to embody this archetype to meditate go into meditation and find our center stay there and move from there and this is the perfect card to embody for the next week to come because this whole next week is going to to be about the star it's going to be about integrating all the information that we're receiving right now okay so it's going to be a perfect time to meditate get in touch with your center and your truest self just chill out relax and receive all of the downloads that come when we sit there and evaluate everything that we've just been through in this process of integration and evaluation we're going to have illumination okay we're going to squeeze the most out of this this month's cycle everything we've just been through all these powerful experiences as we rest and meditate and think about everything we've just gone through. We're gonna have so many realizations, so many things are going to click, and we're going to find our center, get back in touch with our truest self, okay? So just a little recap. We have three major arcanas in this reading and one king, that's it. Three major and one king. Very powerful reading for this full moon eclipse, okay? So the cycle has been about making a powerful decision, making a really important choice. Along the way, we've had many opportunities to reevaluate our priorities and our values and make sure that we are on point with our authenticity, our truth, staying in our integrity. Right now, it's important that we hold on to that truth of our authenticity and move forward from that truth, act on that truth, actualize that truth, let that truth guide our decisions and our strategies. 
Now is the time to begin embodying the archetypal energy of the star. Meditate, relax, get back in touch with yourself. Remember to move from the inside out. You are the center of it all from your perspective. So get to that place to do this integration over the next week because we've got a lot to integrate. This has been a powerful cycle. So yeah, we've got <clears throat> planets in retrograde. We have very unique planetary alignments happening right now. Yesterday, five planets aligned. Um, you know, I just kind of work with the cards and intuition, so you can do your own research as far as astrology. Uh, you know, you can look into the numerology that surrounds you. Follow the signs, you know, follow the signs. They're all there. They're all there and they're all pointing to the same truth. So right now we are in this potent time and this reading reflects that with three major arcana cards and a king. As always, we've had another powerful reading activation. Thanks to all of us coming together and opening up that channel. Thank you so much, you guys. Enjoy your integration. Enjoy your relaxation. And I'll see you next week from Kauai for the final.